Hello guys and as you can expect we are going to add some graceful shutdown a feature to our project uh, I highly recommend uh, to read a lean root um, at advanced uh, async IO tutorial series uh, she has also uh, <coughs> uh, implemented these graceful shutdowns in part two of uh, of her tutorial uh, series so that's amazing series, so you, you should definitely check them. Uh, let's just directly dig into the code and make that our change uh, for applying this graceful shutdown. So we need to implement as a signal handler. Uh, as you as you know that uh, when you hit the control C, it's a keyboard interrupt, uh, but in operating system uh, level, it's a signal. So signal uh, to abort or terminate. Uh, I don't know. Uh, you can see some kind of a segmentation files uh, in your code if you uh, if you write some C plus plus code uh, and you have some unhandled memory actions. So this is also this uh, from the op operating system side. So um, that's uh, enough theory. So yeah, we need to implement this uh, signal handler. Uh, to uh, to our project in now it's another change uh, here like uh, by uh, adding this uh, shutdown uh, shutdown function so let's just implement it so the shutdown function ex itself uh, will uh, again be and be a async function so shutdown it will uh, it will accept the signal and the loop, the event loop. And uh, yeah, let me just copy it here. Right. Uh, this is a function for for normal shutdown process. Uh, it will print the received the wish signal. It, it, it's received. It will call this async IO all tasks and uh, grab uh, the tasks that uh, not a current task not a current task so not a current running task so we need to cancel all tasks uh, except the current task uh, then we are running this uh, list comprehension and applying the cancel and at the uh, at the end we are awaiting from this uh, the gathers and the passing this uh, uh, passing this tasks uh, list and then at the end we loop and we stop this uh, the main event loop the next change for our our code is uh, applying the signal handler uh, to uh, to the main uh, module level so the signal handler we have uh, the support for three type of the signals and uh, we need to change the implementation so we are not going to uh, use this async io run but we uh, we need to implement directly use the uh, get event loop so loop async io get event loop uh, then uh, add a signal handler to the loop so it's a built-in feature of the async io and we don't need this uh, async uh, run uh, I need to wrap this to try accept uh, block and uh, run loop run until complete and call this main function so the main function will also accept this loop uh, and we need to let's see we don't need this uh, final uh, except here it, uh, instead we are going to use this finally and let's see uh, yeah not finally and uh, print so successfully successfully uh, shut down shut down service so this is a final step and we are going to loop uh, close the loop here also we need to make change in the main that it need 
to be accept this loop and we are going to pass this loop to the locking func and I'm just renaming renaming this uh, arguments uh, as it can window the of uh, the global scope loop variable here and that's it for for our um, for our main function uh, the remaining thing uh, as I've noticed that we need to convert this uh, await to uh, to the to the task so we need to uh, convert this uh, captured read frame also to the uh, make it as a task so let's just uh, await this and they think I will create a task uh, captured read frame cap and name it so then the, uh, the name of the task the frame it's a frame reader nice uh, the second thing is uh, creating the async io uh, create task and again uh, name it so add timestamp stamp let's just delete these things here nice and create a task so task one is yeah task one is this so a uh, async io create task it passes and it goes a given name so name is what it's doing is showing the frame so show frame the task 2 is async io create task and use this run blocking func nice and name and what's the name uh, face detection and await here for oops for this for this tasks so task one and task two as a change for uh, the main function as well I think it should work uh, let's just test let's just test and where is our code um right mm -hmm. going inside the container and running this main pi yeah we have this uh, nearly real time frame showing and detecting uh, all sort of face things and right uh, hitting the control c nice so uh, in contrast so what we have here is this uh, rubbish uh, some sort of trace bags so now we have the received the signal 2 and it, it's going to cancel uh, 38 tasks and the only remaining trace back here is this cancelled error from the UV loop because we cl close the loop stops the loop and then the close but it's okay we can even add some except this can uh, to, to catch this uh, cancelled error but uh, i think there's no need it's sufficient we have really granularly and implemented the shutdown process that hits a control c and it will shut down uh, without this this sort of things so that's the implementation of uh, graceful shutdown for our project and uh, I think the next topic is uh, how to share uh, the resources between threads and processes and also uh, inside the async IO itself. Uh, yeah, that's it for this uh, topic and see you in the next video. Bye.